There are many different options that will allow you to format the cells of your workbooks. You can find them either in the Home tab of the ribbon or through a right-click and selecting Format Cells. As you can see, you can change the font and font size of the selected cells from this part of the Home tab. Let's say that I would like to select multiple cells and change their font to Arial. I will select the cells first and then change their font from the box containing all fonts that are available in Excel. I'll also change the font size of these cells. Let's change it to 12. See? Pretty easy to do, right? We can use these buttons in order to put emphasis on text and numbers. For example, I'll click on this button and the selected cells will be put in bold. I'll click it again and the bold effect is removed. We have the same thing with italic and underline buttons. It is very easy to create borders for the cells that we have selected. I will click on the Borders button and select the type of border that I would like to apply. I think I'll select the All Borders option. And voila! We have our borders. Similarly, we can add all other types of borders. We just have to select which type of border we want. In case we want additional options, we can click on More Borders or open the Format Cells menu. We will be able to find additional options under the Border tab. We can select a border's thickness and color. For example, I will select a thicker border with a dark blue color and apply it to the outer borders of the selected cells. Here's the end result. If we want to change the fill of the cells that we've selected, we can do it from here. I'll color the selected cells in gray. In a very similar way, we can change the font color of the content within the cell by using the button on the right. Let's change the font color to white. Here it is. Let's provide a practical example. We have the following table which contains three fields, name, company, and telephone number. As you can see, the table does not look very good right now. We need to use Excel's formatting options in order to improve its appearance. First off, I'll select the cells of the first column and align all of them to the left. We can use the Align Left button in order to do that. Then, I'll do the same thing with the cells from the second column. Let's select them and click Align Left. Very well. The third column is aligned to the left. Given that these are telephone numbers, I would like to have them on the right. I'll select the cells and click on Align Right. Do you notice that the data in the top row does not seem aligned? The first and third columns are somewhat below the second one. Let's select the cells of the top row of the table and align them to the top. That's better. Now let's add a few extra formatting details to the table. Let's change the fill of all cells to white. I'll select the cells and use the Fill Color button in order to change their fill. Here it is. Now we need to emphasize that the top row is the title row of the table. I will change its font color to dark blue and we'll put it in bold. That's better. 
The final detail, which will complete the table, will be to add a border below the title row. Let's open Format Cells and select the Border tab. Here we can choose the thickness of our border, its color, and exactly where to place it. I will use a dark blue color, given that the text is in dark blue. And here is our end result. Not bad for a start, right? These commands allow us to organize our data very neatly and efficiently. It was a pleasure showing you some of the formatting options in Excel. Don't go yet. We have lots of work ahead of us.